Within the varied heroes of Overwatch's cast, Mei stands out from the rest due to her very unconventional fighting style and extremely peaceful personality. It's certainly not an overstatement to say that Mei has captured the hearts of thousands of players, despite her not being a stereotypical sexy character. However, while Mei inspires plenty of love in the community, encountering her on the battlefield is usually anything but. Mei will block your escape, freeze you in place, and then calmly aim for that perfect shot until… poof you're gone. Very few characters have such a split in reaction. At the same time that half of the community is repeating that Mei is Bay, the other half are calling her a cancer on the battlefield for her very trolly kind of playstyle. So what is it that makes Mei so special? Well, on this premiere episode of Character Study, we're going to be examining Mei in detail so that we can maybe get to the bottom of it. The now 31-year-old Mei Ling Zhou was a scientist who originally hailed from the historic city of Xi'an in China. She was a peerless climatologist who had introduced incredible innovations in climate manipulation all across Asia. However, her priorities would suddenly change when the Omnic Crisis struck. Even though she had little combat skill, Mei was recruited into Overwatch. As one of the leading climatologists in the world, Mei assisted in Overwatch's overall objective of world peace by studying the series of unexpected explained climate-related phenomena that were ravaging parts of the globe around the time. In order to accomplish this goal, May traveled to Overwatch's eco-watch point in Antarctica, where she would have surely succeeded if it weren't for a sudden tragedy. Without warning, a catastrophic storm struck the science station, critically damaging the installation and stranding the scientists there. As their food and supplies ran out, May, along with the surviving scientists, froze themselves in cryostasis as a final way to prolong their lives. Years passed as May remained frozen. Eventually, after the Omnic Crisis had been ended, the Eco Point Antarctica facility was rediscovered and May was awoken out of cryosleep, emerging as the final survivor of the Antarctica mission. Even though in the time that she had been frozen, the conflict had stopped and Overwatch had been disbanded, the ravaging climate phenomena had only gotten more severe. Then, to make matters worse, all of the Eco Watch Points that Overwatch had set up were out of operation, and all knowledge that they had uncovered had been lost. May vowed to continue her research despite the tragedy she experienced. She now works on her own, traveling the globe in an effort to re-establish the Watchpoint stations and find out the cause of the climate troubles. If she is able to accomplish her goal and what greater role she will play in the events after the Overwatch agent recall are just two things that are yet to be fully revealed in her story. <laughs> It turns out that Mei is a pretty heroic character for being nothing more than a scientist who got caught up in conflicts greater than herself. However, Overwatch is a game about heroes, and all of that should be pretty much assumed for one of the good characters. So what else do we really know about her besides that? Well, if there were one other word that comes to mind when thinking about Mei, it's cute. Mei is clearly a pretty lighthearted person, something which is evident from her voice lines in-game <laughs> That was great! and generous use of puns. Hey, chill out! Amazing! This is also seen on the Eco Point Antarctica stage. We know from May's story that this was where her and several other scientists were stranded, but scattered throughout this level are little May notes, all of which have some kind of cute sketch on them, along with some of May's thoughts. From these, we can tell that she still remained pretty upbeat even during the very dire situation. Other than possibly Bastion, May is the most innocent hero on the Overwatch cast. She doesn't have any other motivations that we've seen other than just helping people, and I think that is what made her instantly stand out for myself and for other fans. I mean, let's just take a quick roundup of the other female characters in the game. Soldier, Pro Gamer and Soldier, Battle Medic, Rocket Soldier, Hacker and Mercenary, a callous agent of the Vishkar Corporation, an Overwatch Combat Agent, an Evil Mercenary, and an Omnic Hating Russian. Of those listed, pretty much only Tracer comes close to Mei in compassion and caring. However, while Tracer is the leading hero of the Overwatch cast and mascot for the game, Mei's status as a background star is actually what I think lends her such personality. She's humble, she's sweet, she's an underdog. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. 
When it comes to the way that Mei's model is built, I want to get the obvious out of the way. Mei is a girl with curves. This is not a body type that you usually see on women in character action games, and especially not on ones who are supposed to still come off as attractive, which Mei is. However, there's actually a little bit more to it than that. A good character design will almost always speak just as much through silhouette as it will with a close look, and almost everything about Mei, including her body shape, allude to her character and her ability set. Mei isn't a soldier, she's a scientist. And a scientist as devoted to her research as Mei is, is not likely to have time to hit up the gym every day. It doesn't make sense for Mei to have an athletic body type, a la Tracer or Widowmaker, so she doesn't have that. Aside from Mei's body, her clothing and gear do the rest of the work in establishing at a glance what her abilities are. Starting off with her head, other than the obvious scientist glasses, she's got a chopstick-like pin going through her hair with a snowflake-shaped accessory on the end. Now, when I first saw this accessory, I groaned because for as long as I've lived in Asia, I have never once seen anyone put a chopstick in their hair. That's really just a silly Westerner thing. But then I took a closer look at just what this was. It turns out that Blizzard got it right, and Mei is not wearing a chopstick in her hair, but a true Asian hair stick, like a Chinese fazan. These are real, and although I can't speak to how often they are worn in China, they're a lot better than the other possibility. Now let's move on to Mei's heavy white coat, which is complemented by frosty blues and snowflake patterns. This design also extends onto her gloves, and to accentuate the winter theme, she has what looks like climbing bags in order to hold some gear and a flask. Moving lower, on her legs, she's got some simple winter tights adorned with a spiral pattern and more blue lines. And what I like about this is just how much this thin garment clashes with her thick coat and ridiculously large boots. It gives her a distinct form that also complements her body shape. Speaking of those chunky boots, though, though, they finish off the look and even have some spikes on the bottom to help her grip on the ice and snow. All in all, Mei looks ready for just about everything the climate could possibly throw at her. Except for the possibility of her maybe getting heat stroke, considering that she still wears this getup into places like Egypt and Brazil. A simple glance at her instantly screams that she's going to be a cute, ice-themed character, and even though the sheer number of ice and snow patterns on her clothing is a little bit on the nose, there's simply a ton of thought put into this design. If there's one thing that Blizzard knows how to do better than almost any other studio around today, it's design brilliant characters inside and out, and Mei is no exception. Whereas other members of Overwatch's roster stand out more in terms of style and marketability, as soon as you get into the game, you will quickly know the terror of this sweet little scientist's climate manipulation powers. And if you take the time to explore her further, you will soon find out that she's pretty damn heroic and impactful in her own way. In the end, there is simply snow doubt. Mei is the coolest character on the Overwatch cast, and with her on your team, you'll definitely be a winter. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon, including my top patrons Corey Mosdy and Austin Lau. And until next time, everybody, I hope you take care.